Hey guys, how's it going? Booker Team at G here. In today's video, it's something that I'm really, really excited about. Something I've been working on for the best part of the year now with someone. Uh, give you a bit of context. This time last year, really, um, I was given some co cards out on Twitter. Uh, someone sent me a private message and said thanks. I really appreciated getting some. Uh, gave them some more because I had a stack of them. Um, and it turns out he now lives in Japan. He's originally from Sheffield, um, but moved out there a few years ago. He's got videos on his channel about why he did it uh, and what it's like. I'll put a card at the top of the screen. There'll also be a link in the description for his channel. Go and check him out. He's a fantastic guy, uh, Dan. Um, his channel is Jidan. Um, but basically his channel is all about living and working in Japan. He does vlogs and they're fantastic. He takes you round, uh, goes on walks round uh, where he lives and it's just stunning. Um, but we were talking and obviously there's things that I get in England and that you can get in the English sets that you can't get in Japan and vice versa. Uh, and we thought it would be really cool if I sent him some stuff and he sent stuff to me. Now we were going to do it at the start of this year but obviously 2020 was full of very unforeseen changes. Uh, Covid started, um, so we had lockdowns here. They had other uh, like lockdowns and restrictions in Japan, so it meant that we couldn't do it. Um, we managed to finally get it done. Uh, he opened his box up at uh, the start of November, I think it was, um, and mine arrived today. So we're going to go ahead, open it up. Um, it's big. Um, probably not going to be able to see it all on the ca this camera. Um, this arrived <laughs> so I would do my best to try and show um, what's in there but obviously I'll be opening it up but it came in a really cool bag uh, wasn't expecting it I have had a quick peek in there just to see and I saw down the side somewhere there it is this Tom so no way, that is cool. All right, we're off to a good start already. I love that card. How cool is that? Uh, Tom, hope you enjoy this pokey stuff from Japan. Congrats on the hubs, 100 subs. Here's to a thousand, Jidan. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, throughout the last year, um, obviously, I know I've hinted at stuff. Um, it's been a really hard year for me and the family uh, for one reason or another. Um, and Dan's been there. Um, I've messaged him. He's been really supportive. Um, obviously, hit 100 subs um, a little while back, um, and straight away he was on there. Sent me a message saying congrats for it. Um, so he's been a fantastic support uh, for the channel and a fantastic friend. And so, regardless of all this, mate, I just want to say thank you so much for being there. Um, you know, you know what it's like, um, and having that friend there that I can just message. That means so much to me, mate. So, anyway, enough of that. Let's get so there is a big box down the side, and I think I know what it is because I tried to get one and couldn't. But it is this this was a limited uh, run V Max box. So, let me just pan the camera up a little bit. So, in here, you had one pack of every sword and shield. Uh, that was released in Japan. Sword and Shield Base, we've got uh, Rebellious Clash, VMAX Rising, um, we've then got Legendary Heartbeat, ooh, moved everything then, and obviously the latest one, uh, Vivid Voltage. But you also have this one, this is a, a mystery pack, effectively, and if I just do this, there are four uh, VMAX cards that you can't get anywhere else apart from in this. Uh, which is fantastic. I tried to get one uh, myself. Uh, a lot of the Japanese booster boxes that I open, I actually get from Amazon Japan. Um, so if you are interested in opening Japanese booster boxes, uh, that is one place that you can get them. Um, so yeah, but they went out of stock. Um, and then there was some that I messaged, a fellow YouTuber uh, that I follow on Twitter, and his arrived, and then Dan saw it and was like, I got you, don't worry. Uh, then we've got no way. Oh, so I saw someone open these, uh, and what you get in there is uh, a load of vivid voltage stuff. Uh, again, I think these were limited, so you, you get uh, a jumbo card uh, and some packs in there, uh, which is awesome. Get the chance to get the chunky Pikachu again. 
there is a line this. <laughs> it's like <laughs> having to reach down. It's another big box. What's this? Oh, is this one with the? Yeah. So these were really cool. Again, I tried to get some of these, but they went out of stock, and uh, sometimes they don't ship to the UK. But this one's really cool. So you got the toxicity in there. You get some cards, but you also get a really, really cool pencil uh, like tin, um, which is really cool. The colouring on there is fantastic. Sort of like pop art style, which is cool. And then we get the card, which yeah, is a promo. So we'll go ahead, we'll get everything out, and then we'll have a look at what we open up. There's more in here. What have we got? Now he did say that there was um, going to be some sweets because I sent him some in his. Uh, there's stuff that he's missed uh, living in Japan that he can't get. Um, so he sent me over some as well. It feels like sort of like a wafer. Um, but we've got Yampa and Pikachu on. Now, obviously, I have no understanding of Japanese, so I don't know what the flavours are going to be. What's this? So I've got a couple of these now, and the Pikachu one was one that I really want. Uh, if you've watched other videos, you can probably start to guess now I like Pikachu. Um, but these are really hard to get, and um, they don't really show up on Amazon Japan. Uh, if they show on it on eBay, they are really expensive. Uh, but what you get in here is you get a card, and you also get like um, gummy candies, um, which are really cool. Um, and then. What is this? So it's from the Pokemon Center, which is really cool. But I have no idea what it is. It's hard. It feels like, like a little tin. Cool, we'll open that up. It does look like there's sweets in there as well. We've got more from the Pokemon Center. Cute little Pokemon. Again, feels like a little tin with some sweets. They're yeah, cool. Alright. Feel more wrappers. Alright, so we've got another wafer with Pikachu, uh, Lucario, and Cinderace. They look the same flavour, but I don't know. We shall see. What's this? What's this? Oh, no way! What is that? So we've got another tin. Uh, I'm guessing these are cards that you're guaranteed to get. So it almost looks like a, um, a theme deck. Um, what I'll do is I will put on the screen uh, what they actually are. Um, but we get packs for uh, Sword and Shield base. That is a really cool tin. I'm already running out of space. Should have done this downstairs. All right. We've got a little Pokemon like a deck box. Uh, I can see some coins in there. We'll open that up in a second. What I'll do is we'll get everything out. And then we've got a little coin, Cinderace. Now the Japanese coins are a little bit smaller than the ones we get in Eng uh, English. That's a nice coin. I've got them stuck up on the wall, so I'll add that to the collection. Oh, a sealed bubble mailer. It's interesting. And then, do is put the bag down there. And then we've got a Pikachu tin and I see matcha. That's cool. I like matcha. So, where do we start? I think what we'll do is we'll start with the little uh, box, which is Velcro. Very cool. So we've got some more coins. Oh, the Charizard V Max. That is a cool one. Have I got? Yeah. So that's the one that I got recently. But I really like the silver version of it. It's really cool. Quite like a faint glitter, which you can just see. We then got oh, Emblem and Darkrai, and 
Espion and Deoxys. They are really nice coins. I don't think we had those in English, even in the set that had the, the two in there. So, these are cool. Best parts about it. We've got stickers. Are these stickers? I think they are. Uh, for Jidan's channel and also himself. Pretty cool. Um, I have got a couple of stickers on the back board, so we'll add those on. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a sign card by Jidan, and then we've got some hollows. We've got Mew. Nice sleeves. Uh, we have got uh, Giratina. Mewtwo, nice. Absol. Hoopa. Spiritoon. Uh, Victini. Nice. So we've got an Indeedy V. Nice. Blacephalon GX. That is a throwback. Um, I can't remember what set that was. Uh, Morwile GX. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX from uh, Hidden Fates, uh, which was fantastic, and one of my favourite cards. Uh, Mars Shadow and Machamp GX Tag Team. Magnazone. Ooh, nice. Ultra Necrozma GX. Garchomp and uh, Giratina GX Tag Team. Buzzworm and Feromos <laughs> GX. Melmethyl. Zapdos Hollow. These are some nice cards. Colossal. And then we've got Hollow Blastoise. I love the hollow pattern on Japanese cards. They're fantastic. Uh, Kieran, which is appearing a lot in Raids Around by me. Articuno. And then we've got... Oh, this was one card I never pulled. Uh, and I really wish that I had. Um, the Mew and Mewtwo Tag Team GX. Uh, from um, Unified Minds. Uh, SM12A, was that Tag Team All Stars? I'll double check. Um, lovely. Stack Attack, Stack Attack. What is that? It's a promo. I'm guessing it's like the um, set promos that we get in the Build and Battle kits, but I'm not sure what set. Um, that is a awesome card. Two seconds. The <laughs> had a notification there, so I don't know if it showed. Uh, that is an awesome card. I really like that one. Then we've got <gasps> what Pokemon Center Osaka. I have no idea what that Pikachu card is, but I love it. That is amazing. Oh. Thanks, mate. I really love that. Look at the the microphone is a Pokeball. Oh. And then the last one. What? What? <laughs> Seriously, mate. It's, it's too much. <laughs> Hyper Rare Jirachi GX. Oh, mate. Thank you. I, I love that. Look at it. Oh, I could. I'm blown away, honestly. Like, as I said before, having him uh, as a friend has just been incredible, uh, and I've loved watching his channel develop as well. Um, so, if you if you like vloggers, if you love everything in Japan, go and check his channel out. Um, post regular updates just talking about life in Japan uh, and going through it all. Um, so yeah, go and check them out, it's fantastic. Right, so in the bubble mailer, we've got packs. What? So we've got Legendary Heartbeat and then Tag Team All Stars. Oh, I've been looking at get, trying to get some more Tag Team All Stars, but the prices have just skyrocketed recently um, for myself to try and get them. Um, that's cool. Um, what I think we'll do 
is we'll open up all of this stuff, then we'll move to the cards. But let's see what the matcher is. And I should have brought a pen knife or some scissors. So the awesome Pikachu. Oh, there is a tab. If I can get it. Use the scissors. And uh, da, 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 da. Right. Come on. Nope, still didn't do it. Right. I should, because I've just found the end anyway. <laughs> Be enough. Right. Oh, it's stuck on my finger. Oh, well, I'll do. So. What are, what are they? The matcha wafers. Right, let's have a look. Oh, the wafers filled with matcha, I think. Come on. They're cool. They are really nice. <laughs> oh, nice with a cup of coffee. Wow. They're really good. <laughs> and that, what was it, three in a pack? Nice. They're, uh, they'll be in my lunchbox for work. Cheers, Dan. Right then. Let's go for this tip. I think it's a tip from the Pokemon Center. Um and see what it's about. Oh, squeaky packaging. Sorry about the noise. All right. Try not to completely obliterate the packaging. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I'd like to, especially with like packs, I try and keep one of everything. Um, so, Oh, those are really nice. <laughs> those wafers are really nice. So, so, try and get... The issue I've got is I have no nails. Um, so, <laughs> trying to pull off sellotape is near impossible for me. So, rely on the scissors. No. Oh. I thought it was one piece that went all the way around, it's not. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. Still got some stuck on my finger. Right. So inside the tin, Fucus, we have some hard candies, which let's try one. So, whoa, if I can get out. Oh, they're cool. It's like bubblegum flavoured. That's really nice. And I don't, I'm not normally a fan of like bubblegum flavoured stuff. But they are really nice. Nice little collector's tin as well. So I'm guessing then that these are all the different ones you can get. So there's quite a lot that you can get. Um, almost like a, a lucky bag style. Cool. Pop those down there. And then we'll go for, whoa, nearly. This one, which, uh, I don't know whether these are all the different ones you can get as well, but there are some funny artworks on here that I can see already. Uh, Crying Sobble. Uh, we've got Meowth messing with some Stumfisks, which, uh, we shall have a look at now. Come on. It's just easy just to try and cut it. Alright, so 
So in this one, again, it's like a little tin. <laughs> oh, we got the crying Sobble. Well, I think the kid's crying. I'm not quite sure what Sobble's doing. And then, oh, not the camera. Oh, it slides this way. Oh, we got more. Nice. That is a really nice tin. I like the how it opens. Nice little collector's tin. So what I'm going to do as well at some point is um, behind the camera, I've got a nice big unit that I've started displaying all the stuff I've got. Um, tins, the boxes that I've opened. Um, so I'll add these on and at some point I'll try and do a video showing it to you. Uh, it may even just be a post on Instagram or Twitter. Links for the social media are going to be down below. Um, right, let's do... Sorry, I don't know that one. I didn't ask you anything. <laughs> that made me jump. The... Did I say anything that would trigger her? I don't. I don't think I did. Ruin the video. <laughs> right. Let's try these wafers. Uh, got feeling. Oh, there we go. Those bubblegum candies are good. The one thing that I, I definitely put on his uh, to send, because he talked about them before, was Jaffa Cakes, because uh, over in Japan, they have, they just don't do them. They don't really know what it is. Um, so I sent him a big box, um, and I'm not sure whether they would have lasted that long. Um, but yeah, we've got like a wafer with a chocolate filling, which is probably gonna go everywhere. It did. Wow, that's really good. That's really nice. I'm trying to read it and I don't understand. That's really, really nice. I'm guessing this is the same because by the looks of it, I don't know whether it's part of this series. Um but the picture's the same on the front. So I'll say that, that's another one to take and have with my coffee. They're really nice. I've always wanted to try like um, Japanese sweets and food, uh, but I've always been worried that what it's gonna be like, because uh, I know that some of the flavors can be a bit unusual. But then again, I'm sure if you tell, talk to someone about like Jaffa Cakes, for example, They'd probably go, well, it's not a cake or a biscuit, really. Um, but anyway, uh, that was really cool. So cheers, mate. I really love those. Two seconds. <laughs> so now let's get to the cards. Oh, those match wafers are so good. Um, <clears throat> so what I think we'll do is we might leave those. Let's go for this tin first, because I'm not sure what it actually is. Uh, and I'm excited to see. So. Nice to see that they like cellophane as much as <laughs> we do over here. Um, when I sent him, I sent him a couple of the Champions Path boxes. Uh, and one of the things he said was the amount of plastic. So, yeah, we, we do like a lot of plastic on our boxes. So, really nice tin with Zashin and Zamazenta on, and then on the top, and it has got, yeah, you can see it, uh, sort of almost a very faint texture on it. But inside, we get a piece of paper which I think tells you how to build the deck. Yeah, mix of the trainers, the energy and the Pokemon cards. So I think this is like our theme decks that we get in the English set. So we've got a hollow card. Let's crack this open and have a look at what they've given us.
So, hollow doges. So we've got the Zashin and Zamazenta hollows. And then what have we got? Yeah, uh, Glaring Meowth and Berserker. Um, hop, energies, all the way through. Energies for days. So, we then get. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got six packs in this tin. What I'll do is get rid of the cardboard. And then I can put all the cards we get in there. So, um, this is something that they did. Excuse me. <coughs> got wafer stuck. Uh, in Japan, that we didn't really do in the English set. We had. Sword and Shield. Over there they had Sword and Shield. Um, some of them uh, had the same cards, um, but there were some differences between the two. Um, so, let's go. Now, normal Japanese is one to the front, so we shall see. So we have got Sudowoodoo. Yampa, no way, no way, seriously? <laughs> Straight away? We've got Lapras VMAX on the first pack. And I did have some sleeves, there we go. Wow, mate. <laughs> Dan, thank you so much for this box, mate. It's awesome. We've still got more to open. <laughs> So, let's keep it going. One to the front, I did the trick right. So we've got a really cool Haunter. Zillipede, uh, Meowth, and then, what? <laughs> Seriously? Is it given that every pack has an ultra rare? No, surely not. <laughs> oh. Come on. Right. One to the front. And we've got Ghastly. Seed. <laughs> and then a hollow berserker who is mad throwing punches which is very cool artwork so I didn't open uh, Japanese sword and shield base um, uh, the first of the new sets that I opened in Japanese was the Max Rising um, which was an awesome set. Um, so we have now moved over. So we've got Hood Hood, the weird cloud thing, at a gloss, and then a hollow Frozmoth. Very, very cool. So obviously, there's no co cards uh, with Japanese sets, uh, hence why I've sent those over to Dan. Um, in the past. So, one to the front. Ooh. Rainbow energy, I'm guessing. We've then got Lantern, Wulu. And then a more Pico, more Peko, whichever you choose, V. That is cool. This Tim was good. This Tim was really good. Three hollow, well, two hollows, sorry, uh, and three old rares from what was that? Five packs, six packs? No, this is the six. If I can open it. Okay. One to the front for the last pack. We've got Quillfish, and then. A Glaring Rapidash to finish. 
which is a really cool artwork. What do you guys make of the new Galarian Ponyton and Rapidash? Um, I like him. It's nice to see a different variant of the the card that we're used to and the Pokemon that we're used to. Um, but yeah, it's cool. So what I'll do is I'll keep those out. Um, should have just left them as they were, Tom. And we'll keep ooh, the pools that we get over there. Right, moving on. I don't know where to go next. I think we'll look at the chunky Pikachu, which they are actually really big. Um, if you like, compare it to oversized cards. Um, so I'm pretty sure you get uh, one in there. 7-Eleven sticker. Uh, it's difficult to get into. This is one thing that I definitely want to try and keep the packaging intact for. Uh, just If you are going to use scissors on packs, guys, be careful not to uh, go straight through the cards. Okay, we are in, and this thing is packaged really nicely. Put that back in the main bag. So, you get a leaflet with some writing on, and then what is cool about this, no, <laughs> that's just starting to die. Um, you get a Pikachu V promo, which is very cool. You then get an awesome Pikachu coin, and then five packs, which are not stuck in. I thought they were. Oh, <laughs> where's the other one? There. Uh, Vivid Voltage, which we will open up right now. What I might have to do is <laughs> actually pause a second because my camera is going to die, my phone's going to die. Um, give it a quick charge for 10 minutes or so uh, and carry on because I don't want the camera to drop out. So I shall see you in a minute. Uh, it's going to be like 10 minutes for me, but for you it's going to happen like, and we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, I ended up eating more of those wafers. Um, so yeah, the whole pack's gone, They're too good. So, where were we? Chunky Pikachu time. So, let's see, the dogs are kicking off outside somewhere. Uh, what we get from these, because so far, the packs that we've had have been really good one to the front and we've started with a Vaporeon which is cool Baby Crocodile Charmander very cool and then Hollow Whale Lord with a Whalemer in the background nice so let's turn the sleeve the right way that would help sleeve that up Right, and then the next one. And from this one, whoops, we've got a stadium. We then got Eevee with a starry sky. And a hollow Zapdos to finish. Very, very cool. It's nice artwork. Of him at the back. This was one of my favourite sets, not just because it was Pikachu, um, but the, the cards that you could get in it were fantastic. Um, I do always keep an eye out for booster boxes going down in price just to, to grab one because great fun to open. <laughs> we have then got a Trubbish and one of those. Slow? Yeah. 
to finish. Okie dook. That's fine. <laughs> I've got plenty to keep. So, from this one, we've got Tuto and then a Dust Noir <laughs> Hollow <laughs> to finish. Yeah. Die to myself. All right, the last one from the Pikachu box pack, giant pack, is Berserker, true rubbish, and then to finish, Machope. No, yeah, no Machope. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> right, so we've got this one. We've then also got the giant V Max box and the loose packs. Let me move that lid before I knock it on the floor. So I think we'll go for this one next, as it's in front. Um, I will trim the sellotape off. Try not to damage the box too much. Or cut myself. Neither would be good. Okay, so. In here, pop the box down there. Plastic. We've got the Toxtricity card and some more in there, so we'll have a look at that. We've then got the really cool pencil tin. Hold that up there. Nice. And then we've got what's that? Seven packs? Wow. That's more than I was expecting. Okay, so first we'll have a look in here. Let's see what we've got. Come on. Pop that down there. So, we've got the Toxtricity V. We've got, oh, oh they're all energy. And then, yeah, that, that card. <laughs> so, sleeve up the toxicity. And then, go on to these packs. Like I said, more than I was expecting. So I'm expecting sort of five. Um, but I'll take it. And obviously we've got another one in the Big V Max box. So, one to the front. We've then got Rodriguez, Ludwig, and a Vulture as an uncommon. Okay. Starting to lose some of the wafers un under the, <laughs> the amount of packs there. So we've got Siskit, uh, Wingo, and then, nice, uh, Galarian uh, Weezing. With the top hats. Very, very cool. As soon as I saw that Pokemon, I, I fell in love. Stand up. <laughs> so. Why won't you open? So, do me a favour guys, um, if you haven't already, uh, go and check out Dan's channel. Um, it is, it's just a great, he's, you know, the content's brilliant, he always interacts with comments and 
subscribers. So yeah, do me a favor, just come and check them out. Say hello. So we've got Dan, coincidentally. Uh, Lodhard. And then Nine Tails V. Very, very cool. 200 health. Powerful, powerful fox. Sleeve it up. Okay. These packs are not opening as good as the others. Uh -huh. I know I never. I know I know. <laughs> I know I normally try and keep the packaging, but I've opened a couple of nights, so I've, I've got ones that I can keep. So, even though I didn't throw that in the bin. <laughs> Trevenant. A uh, coffin, and then a giant nose to finish. There are some Pokemon that I look at and I'm just like, how how did you come up with that? <laughs> and that is one of them. Like, yeah, it's a it's a weird looking Pokemon. It's the fact that it's got the mustache as well. So we've got the Vulture. Magmar, and then a hollow penguin with an ice cube on the head. <laughs> There's another one. I mean, I get the penguin bit, but the weird ice cube bit throws me. <laughs> All right, so we've got two packs left out of this uh, awesome box. And can we get anything else? In the bin. One to the front. Electrovire. Electabuzz. And then a uncommon trainer. Oh, itchy hand. Right then, last pack. And then we're on to the big VMAX box. One to the front. What can we get? We've got Scyther. That's a, that's a cool artwork. Bit of, and then, oh, no way, yes, we have got Copper Raja V Max, one of the, the new favorite Pokemon. Absolutely love it, fantastic. We've had some good pulls today. We have, let me just move the bulk, pop it in there handy little tin okay so running out of space <laughs> right now to this so it is awesome um, gives you a list of everything that you get in the back um, so this is what you can get so that tells you what Pokemon you get and then the energy cards that you get with it so let me just slice the tape open like that and then try and keep the packaging intact as best as I can they even, even take plastic together <laughs> cool So that's the one that we'll do last. But then, oh, nearly dropped it then. We've got these packs. So let's get into it. We have the vivid voltage. Come on. Now, this is what I'm going to try and do is open these as neatly as I can, and then I'll try and put the packaging back in the box to display it. So, one to the front, and in here we've got the stadium again. Theo Kills, Glaring Meowth, 
And then the Valkyrie? Yeah, to finish. I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to put it back. Because obviously we've got two legendary heartbeats and the tag team all stars, which we'll do last. So then we could go to um, this one, which was it Infinity Zone in Japanese? Can't remember. But it's the one with Eternatus. So we have got Kling Clang, Spider, Ice Cream. And then a hollow, hollow hooper. Very cool. One Pokemon that I never, again, quite understood how <laughs> it came about. That's two sleeps. But it's a very cool one. It's powerful. 120 health for a, a basic Pokemon. So then we're going in to a, what was it in Japanese? The explosive flame walker? I think so. So we've got Lipard, Lavatar, Aron, and then the old computer where they are playing the game as the uncommon. There we go. Toxtricity again. Du -du 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 -du. So, we have got the weird nose, <laughs> Clefairy, Scyther, focus, and then a hollow lantern, lampet, no, chandelier, as the rare, which the artwork on that one, the hollow is really subtle, so we've just got to get it right. And you can see it. So, VMAX Rising, which uh, was the first, like I said, uh, Japanese set for Sun and Moon that we opened. Um, really cool cards that you can get in this. Um, the starters. Um, trying to remember what else was in there now that we pulled. Um, I'll put a little note on the screen. Um, because that was a while ago now. So we've got Vulpix and a Hollow Gyarados. Very cool. And I might sleeps. <laughs> I did not plan ahead enough. Oh well, we'll sort it. So we've got Shield. So we've opened up oh, quite a few of these today, which has been cool. Um, <clears throat> so thank you very much Dan again and then we have got the weird cloud thing Godin and a hollow Cinderace with 170 health and 190 attack powerful alright sword let's say shield again then and we can get the cards out. One to the front. We've got Ghastly, Kingler, and then to finish, a Uncommon Haunter. But obviously, we have the Legendary Heartbeat that we skipped past. So, this was another set that I loved to uh, open them. Um, and then prices have just skyrocketed uh, then pretty much now about double what I paid <laughs> when I opened the booster box um, was it one to the front I think it was I can't remember now oh well we shall have a look we don't electric don't think it was but we've got colossal V and then does that mean yes colossal V max to follow Oh, that's what I liked about Legendary Heartbeat was the fact that you could get Glaring Stunfisk as well um, the V and the V Max um, behind obviously we did that with 
the I think not Colossal um, but also with the Togekiss which was fantastic um, we'll open up the other one Ooh. next oh no we won't we'll do this one we forgot because um, obviously they were separate Let's see what our mystery V Max was very carefully and I don't know if there was a pack trick I think is it one to the front one to the front I think I know what we got <laughs> so we've got an electric energy notice okay I think it was like three to the front then so <laughs> anyway we've got the more Pico V Max which is awesome as you can see three of four so this is not a reprint this is not um, a, a normal promo this is a special one for this box so the only way that you can get it is by getting these VMAX boxes which is why I wanted to get some and the artwork on that is awesome texture on it is is quite subtle um, but there is some like on his face awesome 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 right legendary heartbeat I think this is now gonna be the longest video <laughs> that I've had on my channel uh, which is pretty cool uh, that one did not want to open properly so from this one one to the front yeah giraffe egg funny th funny fact is not to knock the camera <laughs> is that this name is the same backwards as it is forwards <laughs> Banco Riolu Geotic we have a Steelix V and we've got <laughs> dropping cards left right and center Steelix can just stay there we've got a giant 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 dragonfly and switch was it a Pokemon trader? I can't remember. So it's not bad. Two good pulls out of our uh, legendary heartbeats, and then the final one. It has been a long time since I opened this set. Um, I can't remember when we did the booster box. I don't think it was long after it came out. Um, but obviously it was a smaller set than uh, normal. Uh, as you can see, you get a lot more cards. I can't remember what the pack trick was. Okay, we'll just get into it. So, we have a Sneasel, Magneton, Kangaskhan. We then got... What's that one? I don't remember that card. We then got a Hollow Marshadow. We then got a Hollow... Uh, Zorak, a Ninetales GX, very, very cool. Blast from the past. We've then got a Hollow Dark Energy, and then the Silent It, was it? Yeah, as the reverse. So, that's why I loved uh, Titan Ball Stars. Because you just got so much in a pack, and obviously you had the chance for a god pack, um, which every card in there was ultra rare or better. Um, I don't need a god pack because I've had this mystery box, um, and it has just been fantastic. Um, so I just want to say one last time. I know I've said it a few times, but go and check out uh, Jadan on YouTube. Um, he's fantastic. Uh, I think I've said that loads <laughs> um but yeah let me know what you've thought of this what you've liked what bits you you enjoyed whether you you know you like the candies you like the the different style of packs um and whether you want us to do more in the future um obviously uh, like i said at the start there's loads of stuff that we get in the uk and and in america uh, that he can't get in japan and vice versa so i'm sure at some point we'll probably do another one um and i'm already looking forward to it I've already started thinking about stuff that I can put together for him. Um, but yeah, do me a favour. 
go and say hi from me and I'm probably going to bodge this up so Dan I'm really sorry if I do but I believe um, this is how you say at the end of your videos but one last time mate thank you so much this after the year that I've had this is the the pick me up I've needed it, it really has and it means more to me than I think you'll know yeah I think you yeah so I'm gonna say goodbye now guys uh, and I shall see you all very soon um, maybe in the new year which is a scary thing that that's only like a week away now when I'm recording this but I shall see you soon <laughs> I think <laughs>